My name is Rich Robles and today I'll be showing you my design for a corrective exercise program for a patient that exhibits an excessive lower lean during an overhead squat. In this overhead squat, you can see that the chest angle and the shin angles cross over each other, where in a normal squat they should be parallel. You can also see that the dorsiflexion of the ankle has decreased, where the hip flexion increased. Why does this matter? Having an excessive lean forward during an overhead squat can put more load on your back and your core stabilizers than it does your legs and your glutes. Potential causes of this can be sitting for a prolonged period of time. This can be students, people that work from home, office workers. Some injuries that can be caused from this are lower back pain or sprains to their glutes, their hamstrings, and their groin. And looking at their range of motion and doing some of these testing, you can see that they have decreased ankle dorsiflexion and decreased hip extension. Because of MMT and range of motion testing done on the LPHC in the lower extremities, we were able to find our overactive and underactive muscles. The muscles that we found to be overactive was the soleus and the gastrocnemius. Because of the tightness in this area, it led to a decreased dorsiflexion in the ankle. And because of this, the anterior tibialis was our underactive muscle. Because of these overactive and underactive muscles, the LPHC had to compensate for the center of gravity being off by excessively leaning forward. Another muscle that we found to be overactive during our MMT and range of motion testing was the latissimus dorsi. This is because the latissimus dorsi was compensating for the underactive muscle, which was the gluteus maximus. The gluteus maximus's inability to keep an upright trunk position forced the latissimus dorsi to use synergistic dominance to create stability during the overhead squat. So to start the corrective exercise continuum, I'm gonna have my client use a foam roller to their gastrocnemius and their soleus. The purpose of this is to release any tension and decrease any activity of overactive neuromyofascial tissue in the body. So for this exercise, you're gonna have them be on their arms and their legs for plant and support while they roll out their opposite leg. We're gonna to wanna to do this daily, and when they find a trigger point, they're gonna to wanna to hold it for around 30 seconds. Some progressions that you can do with this is add an additional leg on top to add more pressure to that trigger point. You can also do this with a, a lacrosse ball to be a more precise part of that uh, trigger point. So for the lengthening portion of the corrective exercise continuum, I'm gonna have my patient perform this gastrocnemius stretch on the wall. The purpose of this is to increase extensibility, length, range of motion of the neuromyofascial tissue within the body. And doing this exercise specifically for the excessive lean forward of the overhead squat, it will increase their dorsiflexion of their ankle. You're gonna to wanna to perform this daily and you're gonna to wanna to hold this for around 30 to 60 seconds per stretch. And the progression of this, um, is using another person or using a band. There are plenty of ways to do a gastrocnemius stretch. The wall is just the easiest because it's most accessible. So as we continue through the corrective exercise continuum, at the activation stage, I'm gonna have my client perform glute bridges. To perform this exercise, you're gonna have your client put their feet one foot away from their glutes, and they're going to extend their hips into hip extension, and where their hips are in line with their shoulders, their shoulders and their knees. So the purpose of this is to re-educate and increase activation of underactive tissues. In this case, it is the glutes. I'm gonna have my client do this around three to five days for one to two sets of 10 to 15 reps. Specifically, I'm gonna have my client do this three times a week, uh, two sets of 10 at moderate intensity. To also perform this exercise, you're going to have a two second um, isometric hold at the top and a four or second eccentric contraction. To progress this exercise, you can add a ball to add instability on the back, or you can do it single legged, or you can add a band to increase production of the gluteus medius. Some regressions you can also do is just to hold the exercise. Continuing through the corrective exercise continuum, the final stage is the integration stage. During this stage, I'm going to have my client perform a wall ball squat with an overhead press. This will activate muscles in their glutes, in their hamstrings, their quads, their gastrocs, and then all the way up to their shoulders, their upper traps. So to perform this, I'm gonna have my client stand two feet away from the wall and have a yoga ball in between them. And they're going to go into their eccentric motion of a deep squat. On the concentric phase of the squat, they're going to perform the overhead press. Using the, the ball as stability um, so that they can see the proper posture of an overhead 
squat. The purpose of this phase is to retrain collective synergistic function of all muscles of a functional movement. I will be having my client do this three times a week for one or two sets of 10 to 15 reps. Intensity is going to be moderate with in their tempos and be very slow and in control. To progress this movement, they can add more weight to the overhead press to increase instability and to regress this, they can just do their simple body weight. So in total, this should take my client around 20 to 25 minutes to complete. I would want them to do this three times a week with a rest day in between. Um, I would also want them to do the inhibitory and lengthening phase daily to increase range of motion in their ankles and lower extremities. Some contraindications to this exercise program include acute injury, muscle strain, muscle tears to any muscles being lengthened, neuromuscular disorders, or any special populations.